Hello everyone, welcome to today's stream, brought to you by, as I start, okay, there we go, awesome, hello, let me uh, get rid of this, we were looking at the mini-map here, uh, hey Dino Guy, Tagamon, Tan, good to see ya, greetings Rod, Andre, typical gamer, hope you all are having a good Thursday, um, Luther's is joining you with a glass of wine and some trains. We're doing some trains today. Ah. Okay. Hello, Gade. Hope you guys are having a good Thursday. It's one day closer to Friday. I'm actually taking tomorrow off. It has been a while, Tan. You're always lurking in Raptors chat. I'm doing pretty well. Just finished work. Here, and uh, now we're going to be playing this. Um, I went ahead and finished up some things that we were working on last stream. So I brought some of our engines here to our turntable, which looks pretty good. The climax is even over here. I delivered some coal, so that's neat. Do I play VR at all? I do have a um, VR headset. I've never streamed. Well, I've streamed VR once. Uh, a little bit of Microsoft Flight Sim, just to see how it was. Um, and I do have like Half-Life Alex and stuff that I've played on my own. Um, all right, so what are we what are we doing today, guys? Are we going to work on some rails, or are we going to work on some? Uh, money making because we're up to three thousand dollars. We're only about two thousand away from getting a new engine the coke Coke mogul it's, uh, This one over Here this big boy This is our next train. We're about um, Pretty close to it I think, honestly, I really like the looks of just the plain pipe for the smokestack. There's just something about that. You know, this looks just too crazy everywhere else. I just like a nice, good, straight smokestack. That's pretty good. Hello, Tellymans. Actually, I know where this is now. No wonder I couldn't delete this rail section. That's interesting. I wonder, I wonder if people can see it back there when I'm... Can I stand on it? What does that do? Go for money? Go make the mogul? True. We could go for money for a little bit. I want to see something. Am I visible? Standing here? No. Guess not. Sad face. Alright, let's go for money then. Um, we can do that. That's not bad. We're just going to be running some cordwood for a while. Um, we got our wagons over there. I'll divide it up. Um, so I'll take uh, number one here into the siding. And should we use the Heisler chat? I guess we can use the Heisler. If that's the case, maybe we should take all the wagons in one go. That might be good. Do -do. And let's just throw some logs on the fire. Good. We're like ten percent throttle. And uh, we'll pass on through. Hello, Heart Stark. And Axe, everyone joining us today. We're gonna pick up some firewood since we're here. Uh, we need to load up the high as there. It's actually getting a little low on firewood. Let's also make sure our valve for brake pressure is on. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna be like using it a whole bunch, so we'll just set it at 30% just to keep a good pressure up there. 
Do we want the light on? Yeah, we'll have the light on. Let's get the roof open. Oh man, we're joined by Batman. All right, so we're gonna grab all these and just chuck them in there. Can I get in a location that can do this? Seems like the the log ratio, the way it drops down is a little random. Hard to aim. Yes, fill up the logs. Our guy is super strong, guys. You know, where you, you can just really chuck these things in there. Do do. Do I get per points for perfect aim? Uh, yeah, I think so. Somehow, some way, somewhere. Do, do, do. Oh boy, the hyzer can definitely hold some lumber in it. I do think there would, there would be nice if there was a way to upgrade like how firewood is loaded, you know? Like when you're just starting out, I feel like this is pretty cool to um, load firewood individually like this, but I feel like as the game kind of progresses, the enjoyment goes down, right? So, you know, the devs plan to add maintenance to trains. They do plan to add maintenance to trains and maintenance to tracks, potentially. There is talks about that. Wish you could just throw firewood at home and have it auto stack like that. Don't we all? Just a machine gun, just get like a potato cannon, you know, just fill it full of logs. Like the progress on the mini map. Actually, um, I need to update that. Let me let me do that real quick, guys. Um, and update the mini map real quick. Mini Zwerlerg. Man, they keep they keep upgrading the site. It's so funny. All right, this is Dufris. Uh Okay, yep, that one's fine, and upload. Your map, there we go, and we will get browser configured to that one. Bloop, Let's see if that loads. So this, chat, is the current state of things. This is what you can look at, such as a chance break, uh, train uh, maintenance, I think will eventually matter um, in terms of maybe power output. But also, I think um, they wanted it to where it can matter in terms of oil pressure. Maybe you can like oil over pressure. Who knows? What do I use for the mini map and poking around? And I haven't been able to find it. Um, it is a site called that. There you go. And then if you guys want to see the new larger map that I just made, there you go. Um, so that's that's with the current upgrade to the iron mine that we fit in there last episode Looks pretty good All right, I think that's gonna be enough Lumber for us Give a little bit of a throttle here and we'll get the water basin open. So we can fill that up. 
Nice firewood is being created. Mm-hmm. All right, get this thing down here. Come here. Oh God, I'm taking a shower. Awesome. Look at how slowly this fills up, guys. It goes so, like this thing can hold so much water. I hope they do maintenance right and not just a chance of a breakdown. I agree. Look, we all hope that this game and train mechanic simulator can just have a baby. That's what we want. That's what we want. Will the game have tunnels? Um, currently, um, they would like to, but they don't know how to. Could you uh, put out your firebox with a water pipe? Uh, no. That'd be funny if you could. Oh, map. Yeah, let me just scale this down a little bit. There you go. So now we just start rolling away here. Take a look at the flags, that looks good. Go ahead and apply the brake here. Hop out. Uh, yep, switch that. Now we just throw this in reverse. The railroad is the job now. Yes, welcome to Uther's Railco, everyone. For those of you who are a member on the channel, if you want to play with us, you're more than welcome to. I can send you the password. Or uh, if you guys are still working, I'm excited to see who gets to join us today. What you would be, what would you give to get cut a hill on the side just to keep the grade at minimum? You would take that over tunnels, I agree. Like we're gonna need more firewood. I mean, we just got a full load of it. We have a fair, fairly good supply. Um, are we talking about over there at the depot? Yeah, we might have drop off more. We'll see. I mean, there's still like 230 firewood over there before it really starts cranking it, cranking through it all. Okay, so we're just going to back up here through the uh, little circle. Isn't that a cool view? Guys, just can't wait until there's more trains parked here. It's going to look so good. I'm also think trying to toy around with like maybe using some stone buttressing here and there, but I don't, I don't know how I feel about that just yet. Okay, let's go ahead and apply some brake. That box on the engine can hold a lot more than that. Yep, and I'm not going to fill it. If I had two people, you know, loading it, I would. But uh, by myself, this is fine. This will be sufficient. Hello, Speedy. Welcome to the stream. Wooden bridges need a lot more creaking and shaking. True. Um, they are working on a larger turntable. I might have uh, seen the larger turntable that can fit the whole Class 70 on it. I might have some insider information on that.
Do, 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 do. Let me pop this out. Okay, this over here. Apply some brakes, slow down, and what do we got? We got the link there. No link there. Should be fine. I'm doing fairly well. Hope you are too. Go ahead and take off the break at the end here. Okay, that's good. Yep, okay, I guess it's this had a break. Got that. We should be good to go. We'll pull forward and then we'll go down that route and pick up that group. Uh, do I have the brake set here? Nope. Okay. Everything connected. Everything's connected. Love to join, but I have no money for the game right now. And the Bay member is watching back and setting. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We honestly don't have that many trains just yet. So we can't even really house that many people to do a lot of things, which is kind of a shame. I'm gonna go ahead and set this flag down the next line. And we'll go to the back. Make sure it is configured to attach in some way. All right. And let's go ahead and stop the train. Or it just rolls away forever at 10% power. to reverse and can I get there in time to switch it all right very good and then I'll throw it on idle do 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 Kill pretty much all the speed. Don't let it escape like Betsy. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. All right. Good. It's coming in here. Yeah, Betsy's still around. Yeah, a second crew member on a longer train would definitely be handy, but uh, I'm the only one on the server at the moment. Actually, I'm going to set two brakes. Awesome. All right, that break can come out. This one as well. And we're good to go. Look at, <laughs> is, this a, is this a long enough train for you guys? Anyone else planning to get on? I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm sure Silent will probably be around um, if anyone or some other members. Suppose we'll find out.
Still too small, too long. You, you guys need to start agreeing on things. All right, we're gonna, we're just gonna barely accelerate. I gotta check all the brakes, make sure they are released. Uh, we are just rolling out of here. Wouldn't coal be better than wood? If I had coal to uh, bring down the mountainside, uh, I would. Um, but for now, I think just to get our kook mogul, wood's gonna be better for us. Because it's gonna be feasible. Unless you're talking about coal in terms of fuel source. All right, brakes fully released. 3% throttle, this thing will, can actually pull it. Very impressive. <clears throat> but yeah, they, they do want to have different fuel types in the game. They want to, you know, have firewood option, coal, and I think even um, some type of oil option. We're gonna accelerate this to 7%, that's fine. It's gonna pick up speed while it's doing that. We're gonna go chill over here. Take a look, that's set. Just gonna go through the whole line. <laughs> oh, this train. That's set. Is this train long enough to still be in the yard while it's like all the way wrapped around that turn? Crazy. Okay, this is set. Thanks for adding tenders to the map. You found your last one. Very good. Yeah, the person developing this minimap technology is uh, updating it all the time. Okay, that's right, that's right, that's right. It's all about presetting these flags. This is what it's like to drive a train in this game. Half the time you're not in the train. And yep, we wanna go left and then right. Okay, we should be good. Hook up to the main line here. Happy to jump in and help out for a bit. All right. Uh, you on our Discord? Let's see. Mm -mm. All right, just shoot me a message on Discord and I'll shoot you the password, Paul. Any plans for three main track main line? Or are we sticking to two at the moment? Just two, um, but I foresee if the game, you know, if, if the server obviously gets like big enough, um, I can definitely foresee a um, a four, four four track mainline in the future. Look at this big boy train. Hell yeah. What are you doing right now? Letting the train run without an engineer. It's why you had to the dead man switch to the throttle. No hand on the throttle, no steam to pistons. Um, <clears throat> I have, I have Jim, obviously looking at it. Totally fine. Where can I find a link to the Discord? It should be in the description of the video, I would think. Um, 
let's do let's see if that yeah should be, it should be in the link of the description of the video also silent nights here thank goodness also, Paul, if you, if you want to join the voice channel, you're more than welcome to. Just let me know and I can drag you into that. Uh, Silent, since you're here, I moved your train. I dropped off all the cargo and moved it over to the smelter and parked it. Good to see you, my friend. All right. So we're gonna throw some more wood on the fire. Uh, How's it going, Silent? I was waiting for an update to finish. Yep. You excited to be able to re-rail? That's about time. Are there gonna be yeet tests happening finally, for real? Oh, there's gonna be crash test derby tests. Oh joy. How's it going, chat? Uh, was there a specific reason why you didn't extend the main line up to the logging camp instead of running a single track loop? Just curious. Mm, in my opinion, the main line is for traffic to kind of go more than like one or two stops down the line. Um, obviously, industries hook up to it. Um, but it's kind of like your highway, right? And because these at the moment aren't overly congested, uh, having them single tracks work. However, if these become congested, I can always upgrade them to a double line and have a much more interesting connection point onto the main line itself. And maybe even upgrade the main line to a four track. Kind of like the center two being uh, the main line itself, and then the outer tube to be for off uh, getting off the main line and onto the main line. Ooh, um, quad track to the freight yard. I yeah. Know. And then I'm also thinking about making a main line bypass to the freight yard. Um, that kind of cuts that whole portion out so that you don't have to go near the freight yard if you don't want to. I like it because I like going by the freight yard. I think the freight yard's really fun to kind of drive by. I think the only way a quad track would be justifiable is when we get the X-shaped crossings. Because right now the, the junctions we have just take up too much room. Yeah, I mean, X, X junctions are going to be super nice. Um, they're not going to have spring turnouts. I've confirmed that. They're not going to do that. They will have... Um, they're, they're not doing spring junctions at all? Nope. Not doing spring. It's not common enough in, in narrow gauge at this time period. God damn it. Modders! I'm sure modders will add that. Um, but they do want to add um, kick switches. Which basically is a spring switch that doesn't reset back to the original position. So it... Every time you go through it, uh, and it changes that setting, it remains that setting until someone else comes through the different way. So for turnarounds, it'll be perfect because you can just drive through it and it'll automatically turn around. Well, yeah, and then the next person coming in will just go in the way you came out. And then when they come out, it'll switch it. I'd so, be okay with that. That's okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Why did I get teleported from the iron mine to the mill or the logging camp? What do I? How am I? I don't. I can't answer that question. Can't watch for too long today. You're going to be live tomorrow. Uh, I believe so. As long as work doesn't keep him. Are you coming up to do cordwood deliveries again? <laughs> yeah. How's your money looking? About three thousand. Not much more and I am pulling 16 cars. Well, I guess, seem as I'm already up here, I might as well help you load up. If you want. You can also run, you know, switch and fire wood and stuff. Well, I'm still waiting for the world to load in. Oh, yeah, that'll be probably important. 
Let's turn off the generator. Don't need that. Get the bell going in its crazy jigga jigga jiggly way. Only seven grand in the hole. Only. We need to work on that. We need to cut down more trees. <laughs> oh, it's so nice seeing a re-rail tool now. I wonder if some of the other uh, client-side bugs were fixed. Uh, who knows? Probably not. <laughs> Adam Dane, thank you for the sub. Well, ah, yes, Unreal, and it's rope physics. <laughs> are you still able to re-rail cars on top of each other? Yeah. I was kind of worried when they said that it only re-rails to splines now, so... Well, that's how you do it. You... But it drops from a height high enough that it's above the flatbeds. Yeah, I also was, saw was... that we're, we're getting new trucks, potentially, for all of our wagons. Huh? Yep. What the hell happened while I was on the way home? What do you mean? Apparently, you're getting all this in insider info now? I have all the insider information. You know, it's the nice thing about being a YouTuber. They added hitboxes to the cars now. I thought they removed that on the re... Uh, there was another no, they, patch that they, sort of take that away. The, the patch today increased the hitbox on the depots so it's easier to drop stuff off. Hmm. So when you drop off lumber and beams, it shouldn't just, like bounce in and out of the car and off the station. Oh, thank should God. actually just go in. Hey, Forn, good to see you. We're just uh, pulling 16 wagons here on the hides there. At least the game fully loaded in just as you pull into the station. That's good timing. Good timing indeed. I saw he, he added phasing to the anything getting re-railed so it doesn't just yeet your stuff all over the place. If only he would add phasing to the firewood depot when being Yeah, phased. he needs to add phasing to the firewood depot. They added hitboxes to the cars once right mount button is pressed. Yeah, so they no clip while you are placing them, but when you confirm it, their hitbox returns. That's no different than the previous behavior. That's kind of how it was. Look at you re-railing stuff. Can you get that out of the way, please? That's not the right wagon anyways. Yes, but it's the fact that I can do it. It's the fact that you can do it. Tell me when to uh, stop. Half a car. Three, two, full stop. Full stop. <laughs> the crane is bugged out. That I one can't is? Highlight it. Yeah, uh, I can't highlight it. It was highlighting for me when you were looking at it, so just try and left click on it anyways. See if it works. This train is just long enough to get out of the track down there. So if you come in the long way, you can actually have a 16 wagon train. Uh, it's straight up not highlighting for me. Or 12. No, 16. Okay, no problem. I mean, I can, I can load this one anyways. I'm here. Convenient. So 16 times 80, chat. How much is that? That's 800. Um, and then. It's a big number. Six times eight. So. Uh, what is that? 1160? 1160 about? Something. Uh, I don't 1280. know. I'm, I'm drinking wine and trying to do math. It's 1280. Got it. Combined with what you have, is this going to be enough to give us... Yeah. The Mogul. Oh, the Mogul? Mmm, no. You need 4,300 for the Mogul. You're currently at... Uh, three... 3080. I think it'll be a we little need, bit short, like 20 short. We need one short. more rail car worth. God damn it. Well, what you can do, I can load this. You know, it's no faster loading with two people. You can respawn. Uh, 
Or you can take rails up to the mine if you go to the smelter. Did the, um, did the, climax, get, did the climax get dropped off? Yeah, I dropped so... it off. And it's at the depot right now with the three coal wagons there. Found it ironworks? No, I brought it back to the depot and perked it because I never want to use it again. Look, I, I drove that thing over to the coal mine during, while I was in meetings at work today, okay? <laughs> I literally started up the journey, went to a meeting, and came back, and I had time to go to another meeting <laughs> and then come back again. It was a long journey. Did you take it down to the ironworks to make a deposit? Yeah. Yeah. So the ironworks actually has goods to pick up. Uh, yeah, we did notice a long time ago that the cars bend when you load them. All the cars have a little bit of bend to them. I love how you can see my chat before I do. I'm just like, who is he talking to? <laughs> I'm just like, what is going on? Is the uh, table this? fixed? Uh, how you mean? You just hold left click or right click depending on which way you want to spin it. You don't have to like move your mouse. So the climax is forever going to be a museum piece until the gearing is added. Basically, yeah. I took a screenshot chat of like the climax um, um, while I was driving it. The <laughs> I sent it to Kabuki, being like, "Hey, I think I found the gearing problem," and and like the main drive shaft was completely disconnected. It just like spinning out in space. <laughs> I'm just like, I think this is why it's going so slow. Can we fix? That'd be great. I'm going to be loading wagons for the next 30 years. Anyways, Forn, if you are around and you want to play, the password is the same. And I don't think I got a message from Paul yet. He wanted to hop in. Okay, why is it after I release the turntable, it just keeps on going? Because it, it, it builds up momentum. Oh, that's annoying. You're annoying. I realize the game is still in early access, but I'm excited, so excited for when the workshop opens up for content. Super pumped. Hey, at least when I derail the porter, I can at least fix it this time. Why am I using the turntable? I gotta derail to it. No, use the turntable. <laughs> you fuck. I park those correctly. You take them out correctly. <laughs> this is an RP Christian server. Please adhere to the rules. With a whitelist. We're even whitelisted. Did you do some server shenanigans to always make us available? No. No. Uh, I, I wish we could do a dedicated server. One day. One day. It feels like having three loading cranes would be better. I feel like being able to upgrade this place would be better. Yes. If you could upgrade it so it could lift, like, say, two at once, would be nice. Or just make the cranes go twice as fast. Whichever. I think twice twice as fast might actually cause some, like, synchronization issues, but if you allow it to do two at once, it would effectively do the same thing without causing potential desync. Oh, you flipped the flag. Okay. I was about to say, it's like, I didn't know kick switches were already in the game, but apparently... Okay, I moved the stupid turntable like a centimeter and it goes a mile. Yeah. Figure figure it out. How am I You're from Canada. Figure it out. Dark Dragon Lord 1000, thank you for forming a village. Hopefully you as a Dark Dragon Lord don't burn it to the ground, but thank you. I appreciate the support. The village does grow. I forgot to make more emotes. I need to make more emotes. Have some, uh, uh, flaming Jeffs. Very nice. I'm gonna have that train loaded before I can get this turntable in position. One crane loading a full cart in one go would be so much better. I mean, it would be so much faster. I don't know. If, just because it's faster doesn't necessarily mean it's better. You know, I would like the idea of 
this is like the tier one kind of thing. And then maybe tier two, we can uh, place a crane that I can actually use and load with it. I'll join. Hopefully the desync isn't too bad. Now that I can rerail, I won't have to worry about going so slow. Oh, I mean, you still might want to go a little slow, but okay. Um, you're taking the, are you taking the porter from spawn? That's what I was trying to do. There's a porter at the, um, the smelter that you had. That's already hooked up to all your wagons. It's so far away. Fine. Better than fighting with a turntable. Well, what, 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 I mean, you still have to take that porter somewhere to go pick up wagons. So you're going to go to the smelter anyways. You have, I mean, there's the... the Coal wagons here at the depot. Do, do, do. Okay. Are we grabbing Iron Wolf down in chat? Do, 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 do. Okay. Paul will be joining us. What's up? Iron Wolf down in general chat. Iron Wolf. Who is Iron Wolf? that foreign I'm not sure mr. dragon lord you most certainly can join in send it through some message on discord he'll give you the password yep I'm gonna save that's what I'm gonna do every time someone new joins take a save yeah it's like please don't worry my save I mean, what you need to do is do a separate save file as well, just in case. Yeah, I need to do a lot of things. You should also look at setting some markers in the ground so you can park easier. Having cranes working automatically NPC as you park makes more sense as you are the train operators, not the crane operators. Um, I don't know. I, I enjoy doing the loading and stuff. I actually enjoy it because I feel like it... Um, You know, you can give people jobs. While yes, my character might be dressed as a op crane, uh, a train operator. That doesn't necessarily mean that's all they want to do in the game. Uh, you want a map link? Sure, we can drop the Uther's map. Ah, okay. Iron Wolf is Dark Dragon. Okay, then I'll drag him in. Sure. So long as they have a good quality mic, they can come in and hang out. Got his or mic if they're muted. I'll, I'll shoot him. You got it. Thank you, Secretary uh, Silent Knight. Wait a minute, I need to change to headphones. Oh. I need Jenny Musco. Hmm. Did you get a chance to drive over the smelter's new bypass? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I used it to, um, park your train down there. How's it look to you? It looks fine. But... It's not what I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> look, I really like rails hugging the terrain, okay? I get that. I don't but like at long the same bridges. Time, I was kind of You're in a hurry. Constrained. You're trying to get things hooked up. I get it. It we wasn't can, so much a hurry. Like I was kind of do it, make it look better. Don't worry. Where I can put things. It's fine. It's all right. We can we can solve your mistakes. It's okay. Chad, am I too mean to too silent? I mean, he sits here and helps me for hours. <laughs> labor <laughs> I mean you're the one that cut down so many trees I didn't tell you to no long bridges across the valley hug that terrain yeah it's not that long hug mother Gaia return to the earth anyways if you guys are trying to join and can't find the server um, 
It's going to be listed as Uthers Railco. Um, Washington, D.C. is the download region. Might help you find it. I am running out of trains to run. Colt is apparently here, too. Okay, all we need to do is one small delivery of something. Plus your cord button. We'll have a mogul. How'd you just make us money? I didn't do anything. I'm still running down the smelter. You just said one small delivery. Oh, f crap. I just derailed the train in the middle. I just slammed on the brakes. I said all we have to do is make one small delivery. You know what? Maybe it would be a good idea to do the yard. Is it possible to set the train to low speed and use the cart? Brakes to stop when it's ready to load. Yes, def. I would like I would help out, but I currently have owned the game for three weeks and have zero sec seconds invested into it, so ah, no problem. In fact, I'm gonna throw this brake on. Gotta finish your long journey. I kind of finished it for you already. I did it while I was at work. You weren't here for it. I was in meetings and uh, super bored, so I took the hour and did it. On the flip side, now that I can re-rail, I can actually unstack these train cars. Yep. True. That helped. Okay, Thorn, um, respawn and bring the porter here. If you can. Need your, your shunter? Yeah, we're gonna need the shunter. Uh, Cult, if you... If you want, you can meet me up at the logging... Or the, the sawmill. I'm gonna bring up all 16 cars. Yeah, you work with Silent. Cult. And maybe... Maybe a foreign can hang out with me. Um... I don't know what Paul's gonna do. The only other train left would be at the base, but I think foreign went to grab that. down here at the smelter with me? I don't know. I don't know either, because name, name tags aren't showing up. Yeah, name tags are a little hit and miss right now. Paul, is that you down here at the smelter with me? Maybe Paul. So looking for the server? Okay. Yeah, it's probably Cole. I think Foreign just respawned back at Depot. So looking for the server? Happy to be a brake man once you're on. Roger that. Right now, Colt, I'm just going to hook up everything. And then, uh... Take all 16 cars up to the mill, and we'll do runs up maybe Iron Mine or somewhere. All right, Colt is in chat now. Oh, look, the coupling desync is still a thing. Is there a way to change region? Yes, so you'll want to go to your Steam, hit the View drop-down, Settings, and then change your download region to Washington, D.C. That's kind of the only fix I have. The only other fix is for me to restart the server after you do so, too, just to see if that helps. It may, it may not. It's a little hit and miss with this game at the moment. It's got a phantom coupler on it. You know they fix it to where uh, it won't drop cargo if it's rerailing. Do you see a coupler or a link on that one? Because okay, that's fine. 
Got a link there, got a link there. Okay, I guess I'm gonna try and nudge it and see if these are properly re-railed. Most likely not. Most likely not. Never are. And we do on pressure, we're fine on pressure. All the cars that aren't playing nice, let's get rid of them. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. How are hey, you? Hey, look, that one connected. Stupid freaking Discord. Stupid freaking Discord. I agree. Stupid freaking Discord. Like, every time that there's an update, I have to remap, like, my freaking microphone. Well, that's weird. Like, Windows update or game update? No, Discord. Huh. Oh. How's the railroad going? It is going, guys. We are hooking up a 16 train cordwood at the moment. All right, so what did you want me to do, Silent? All right, now we're just going to bring all these cars up to the lumber mill. Okay. Did you intentionally leave Betsy and Ruby? Yeah. Okay. We got to jump over to the other lines, pick up the other cars. I may or may not just stack them for efficiency. Oh, yeah, you can do that now. <laughs> do you know how to unload a stack car? Yeah. How? Pick it up. But where do you stand to pick it up? Well, I managed to undo the other ones just fine. Okay. In my experience, you have to be standing on top of it. Because if you do it from the side, you can grab the second one by mistake. It might help if I actually hook this up. So did they fix the uh, the sinking issues with the other players re-railing? Yes, so other players can re-rail now. Yay. We'll uh, see, we might have to uh, save a little bit more just in case it causes an issue. Go ahead, pull it forward, and then I'll flip the switch and pull back in and grab these. Wow, Jerry Red, thank you for becoming a member, forming a metropolis. Huge support, thanks, appreciate it. Big city mayor. Big city. That person has some sort of like zoning plan in mind, I think. It's not forward, Colt. That's backwards. It, it's forward the way the direction is going right now. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't help us load cars. I mean, just I'm going, just saying, it's you moving. said forward, and Betsy is pointed forward right now in this direction. <laughs> Jittery desync is still a thing, though. Yes, it is. And will probably right. remain f until uh, a long while, if I had to guess. I think it's just somebody's I don't, Walmart. I, I, I don't right? even know if the game can ha start handling this many people. Like, we're at, what, six right now? Is this a rapper stream? <laughs> uh, a little bit more? Still going to go forward. Yeah, I gotta get fuel in here because I'm running out of steam. I'm just saying, if this was a Raptor stream, I'd be begging people to subscribe way more often. Shots fired. Ooh. The get YouTube before, game's like, real. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I had to put uh, some fuel in. You're clear, you can reverse. Look, that's just what you gotta do when you're, uh, when you're like, a, a YouTuber, you know? You, you gotta play what? the YouTube game. Be a shill? Well, no, you just... You gotta remind people to do something or else they won't. That's just how it works. You want me to go in slow? Yeah, bring it in nice and slow. And I'll drop the pin. Yeah, nice and slow. Yeah. Slow so you can climax. Hmm. Too much? Or too soon? Something. Something like that. Maybe out of both. You're about uh, two car lengths. One car length. Okay, you're in. You're uh, seeing a flying porter already. Oh lord! It should stop, right? You shouldn't be seeing a flying porter. I'm concerned if you're seeing a flying porter. 
Oh, hold on. This was your disc commit. Okay, back it up very slowly again. Uh, okay. One second. When the train is this long, really hard to get things to line up. Because the the uh. length of the couplers actually kind of dictate spacing a little bit more. What's your uncle? Ah, it's just the freaking hitbox on the porter for the, for the free wool is just annoying. You're standing directly above it? Yep. I just wasted like 10 lumber because of not being able to hit one. Whatever. Okay, well, I went through a thousand wood yesterday trying to get the thing refilled. But we need to back up and reconnect. There's still some that aren't connected. Okay, I'm going to try and back up by like three feet, guys. I need to be able to load these two wagons at a time, or else it's just not worth it. Cool! Other way! You're very confusing. He is very confusing. He keeps saying back up, but I mean, that's going then forward. Then re-rail the, the, the porter to be facing the correct direction, then. Well, why don't you just give him accurate directions? I mean, like, why is, why is it on him? You're the one that told him to back up. It's like a you problem. Slow, 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 slow. All right, we're connected. By the way, when you says slow, that means speed up. And <laughs> now all the other ones are all disconnected. Oi. Oi. It's got phantom light. Look, I'm just happy I don't have to run across the whole world. Do you think it's pretty bad for me? I think your internet is being wonky right now. No, it's just the game. It's just the game. I'm stuttering. Well, these are connected. Like, even stuff. even I am a little desinky. Uh, I mean, I'm the host. But if you if you want to, you know, just chill and, and hang out instead of uh, play, or maybe just ride on some trains for you to do that, too. Go take a tour around the map. Check out the sights, the smells, the wonder. We have fire with you. Uh, yeah, right. If you. Oh, it's actually right in front of us. Okay. Can you move the train back in the same direction, please? <laughs> same direction means opposite direction. I'm just taking any car that's refusing to link up. I'm just throwing it on top. Yeah, there you go. They probably. Well, they've got the phantom links. Phantom links. Oh, you want me to see if I can do it? Are they all going to go to the opera soon? At this rate, our 16-line train is going to turn into an 8-car. Yeah, you might just want to take it as an 8-car anyways. 16 is just almost not even worth it. All right, I'll stop. Because the... Everything appears to be connected now. The, the longer the train and the increased, um, you know, maintenance of, like, managing it, it's almost just not worth it. It doesn't help that I'm, like, by myself trying to do that, but, uh... Do I have enough room to move forward enough to fill the fire with? Um, like, are the train set? Or the track set? I can check. <laughs> if this train was any longer, I don't think I would be able to see the cranes to line it up for more reasons. Jesus. All right, now you're clear. Hello? What? Do -do. Oh, it's because I've got no boiler pressure. Ah. How's the uh, water supply? Um, I don't know. But I was gonna fill that up while we were here, so. Alright. Wait, how's this thing going in reverse? Come on. Gotta be super gentle with this. If I, like, slam on the brake, just might derail again. 
Oh, actually, you got about half a boiler. As well, uh, up. a little over a quarter, actually. Sorry. All right, let's test that. Let's see if that does it, Jen. Come on. Why can I not grab this spout? How are we doing today? We're doing pretty good. I have tomorrow off because I took a day off for once. And uh, I think I might be working on the rail line for a little while all day. Slack at that spacing is half a car. Wow. What are you looking to do? Just clean up some of the lines to be long term yep. compatible? Yep, yep, and better looking. Form and function. What's going to be your first objective? My first objective? Probably the, the upper one. coal to metal works. Oh, the section that still doesn't yeah. need it? Yeah. And then I might also work that uh, bridge that you have up there too. Uh, that kind of... Yeah, I'm not totally happy with it, but it was really difficult to put it in the first time. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to take inspiration from it because I really like the idea of it going across the game. It scared Jerry. Jerry's glad to see it. What? All right, well, yeah. Scar, yeah, I kind of like uh, how as you crest the bridge coming from just over top of the mountain and then all of a sudden you just look over and there's, there's just like this death drop of a cliff. Yeah, yeah. So I'll try and keep that as much as possible. Though I have a feeling... Uh, the way to get up there is going to be a little bit different. We have to work iron mine also since they moved the drop off points for lumbers and beams. I haven't oh, been up there. Um, so I guess we'll have to see. So you guys need, do need to relay some rails since they adjusted some platforms of the ironworks. Um, I mean, it depends on how they adjusted it. Oh, we'll find out because we're going to head up to iron ironworks with the Okay. Full complement of stuff. Do I still need the porter by the sawmill? We're good to go. We're full on firewood. Full on all the things. Um. Yeah, swing it over to the sawmill, maybe. And uh, hook it up to the log cars, and maybe if you want, you can start hauling logs. A little bit. You, did you guys just pick up beams and planks for the mine? Is that what you were doing? We're just now leaving the smelter. To do so? Or... Is, I think we will be. Yeah. Uh, we're heading over to the lumber mill right now. Oh boy, it's going to be super busy over there. Metallica fan. Thank you for becoming a member today. Appreciate it. Well, if the other porter goes over there, then we can run two full loads. We could do a full load of beams and a full load of boards. True. Where's the other porter? Uh, I think Foreign has it. Boy. Desync A Cole? Yeah. So just unnerving seeing all the cars and the porter just teleport forward and backward, forward and backward, side to side. Well, I am currently watching the cars just bounce all over the place. Like they're running over gravel. I mean, why have rails when you could just have it run over the roadbed? <laughs> How many cars? Um, I'm up to 16 on this one. 16 units of cordwood. This is the last two, and then uh, we'll be working our way down towards the freight depot. And then I'll drop half of them off. I think just 12 is a 12 or 18. 12 or 8. I just do you think do it's a better. cordwood like, delivery to the smelter at all? Um, do you want I, me to? I'll look, and last I checked yesterday, it was almost empty. I mean, it's still got stuff there, so... I have room for, like, seven... Oh. Here's a switch. Switch. Full stop. Driving isn't good. It's not registering it. fast enough to break. That's That sucks. It also probably doesn't help the host is streaming at the same time. Let's be honest. It's probably not ideal. 
Maybe I should make the uh, make silent post. You think that'd be that better? Do a gigabit upload. Switch is good. Maybe I know, I know. we maybe could try. We can it. Try that after you drop off your thing and I drop off this. You have to shoot me the save, but yeah, we could try it. Um, yeah, I can actually. There's an option now to make the save downloadable at the minimap location. So I can just upload it there and say it's downloadable for uh, like two days or something like that. Where are you located, Silent? Uh, Mountain Time. Okay. But I mean, I I I'll still have my server set for Washington D.C. For me, I like I'm not I don't notice any speed differences with it. Yeah, me either. Yeah, me neither. Even though I'm West Coast. Even though I'm in Washington, D.C. <laughs> no change. All right. The heat. Is anyone coming off the main line to the lumber camp? Well, I guess we'll find out. You got, a, you got a big old engine. You just push him out of the way. True. <laughs> and everyone can re-rail now, so it's all good. Like I said, I wanted to do some uh, crest test derby. Hey, Colt, we're going to secretly swing over there. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think the Heiser will win against the Porter. Just saying. I don't oh, know. It'll be a glorious victory if we do. Betsy's big <laughs> and strong. We got all that. We got all that hearse per. Order to let the free depot. You get lots of time. All right, thanks, Paul. What are you working on, Paul? Or are you just kind of checking out the map? Use a crash for the first time. Luckily, you can re-rail. Oh my God, this train is uh, it's a long train running. Good thing you don't have that 6% grade no more. Oh, it probably still would have made it. Like a champ, okay? Like a champ. You're Porter on the porter. Win. Not sure what I'm doing yet. Roger. See, the only way this would work, Cold, is if we get there before he gets to the junction on the main line. You guys stay away. Where you need it, um, you can go from mainline to the sawmill, but via the lumber camp. Um, switch? So that you can oh, the switch is fine. pick up the logs. So I don't know, Paul, if you have the map or not, um, but if you look there, if you go north and then take the first junction, um, you can work your way up towards the loop for the lumber mill and lumber camp so that we can supply boards and planks. Checking in while adding more bolts and more bolts. Copy and paste is your friend today, it seems. <laughs> How's it going, Kabuki? Good to see you. Polar Express? We need to set up a, a little Express. racetrack to do uh, rail derby. Little little rail derby. Just set up a whole bunch of turns. Can we, can we do roller derby? I think this is set. Dude, my game is struggling. Uh, nope. Stop in time. Uh, I nope. Hope so. Uh, something of note, oh! Paul. Um, I'm gonna I be coming out that way. Nice. I got it just in time. <laughs> I am not liking the way those things are jitter. Holy crap. All right. Wow. Let's look the other direction where it's less. What's painful. the wait? What's Project Hangman? Modeling showcase. It's a 60 foot gallows turntable. Vote for the Denver and Rio Grande. Where is it, Link? It's, uh, it's in the devs' oh, Discord. 
It's a turntable that's basically a suspension bridge that pivots. Pretty great. Is there going to be water under it? Um, I, it, it, the only reason for water under it is so you could fill it like with crocodiles or something. Exactly. Sharks with freaking laser beams. <laughs> Throw a couple of firewood logs in, please. Fire has gone out. Okay, I, I actually I see barely you guys. see Betsy. <laughs> I can try, but did you fall off? No. Let's switch up ahead. Maybe I don't know. There's trees in the way. I think I got the. I think I got it. Oh, that's on the other line. No, what I was saying is I, I think I got it in the... Yeah, you uh, got one. <laughs> so sad, man, with the Betsy bouncing as much as she is. Uh, switches are good. Yeah, you, you guys don't like the hydraulics we installed on Betsy? Uh, come come out and then go down the other line. I need to go That'd the way really... you are. It'd be really popular in Oakland, I'll say that much. Just what you need to see is a train going down the tracks with hydraulics going up and down side to side. Yeah, you need to come like over here, switch it, and then go down that way. Did you hear the new song you posted today for the game? Um, I know the other one that they posted. I don't... Uh, we're good. Uh, they posted one on 1029. You're talking about this one? It's really good. I take half of these wagons and throw them on the other line. So what should you build when you first start for generating income? Um, you want to come over to the logging rush camp. Cordwood. Honestly, rush cordwood. Okay, calm, calm down. <laughs> okay, they, they need to do something first to be able to afford cordwood. So you got to have a line from the freight depot to the logging camp. I can't drive, Patsy. I need help. To uh, laggy? be too laggy i feel like we have hit the limit of the server with five people <laughs> yes also oh, this is bitsy okay and you guys will actually be going down the other track there's wagons down there for lots. Let's put them in the shunt up. yard. Oh, what? The shunt what? yard. Okay. We need to be able to use that other track to get the porter around so that we can grab from the other side. Okay. Hello. Yeah, if, if Wolf can can go down to the uh, lower mill from there, that's uh, where you need to go to get uh, the log cars. So just kind of back up. Should be fine. <laughs> you threw that on top of the other one? <laughs> hey, it rolled into me while I was dropping it. No, <laughs> We should have eight attached to Betsy and eight in the yard, I believe, is what we're looking for. <laughs> Off it goes. Um, I'm almost afraid to hit the brakes on this thing at the moment. He's into it nice and slow. Yeah, I might wait until like it starts flattening out. Do you have a good resource for learning whistles and signals? Actually, I would like that as well. Kabuki, if you uh, know of anything, put it in the Discord and we'll pen it. 
YouTube. Also YouTube. I mean, what signals are you looking to learn? Because, like, most rail companies have and lines have their own variation. There is some commonalities, but there is a lot of variation as well. Yeah. Took you two hours to make the turntable? No, that's not bad. I mean, it's it's just a bunch of rectangles, honestly. It's not, you know. And quick and effective is nothing wrong with that. Quick and dirty. Do you disengage the ones we don't need on the porter already? Yeah, whatever is attached to the porter is what we need. Because that's eight. Okay. <laughs> okay. Need some hand signals for it to really work. True. Or like a little whistle. I want a whistle. And a watch. A spyglass. <laughs> Got you covered in Discord. Okay, I guess that didn't move. Okay. Slow down to like 30%. Break. And then release. And check these signals while we just kind of idle through. Done. Thanks, Kabuki. Appreciate it. Locomotive whistle signal. Two okay. two, just proceed. Did you go through and turn off all the brakes on these? The brake should automatically turn on as soon as you hit re-rail. No, that's, that doesn't work 99% of the time. Well, as I turned on all the brakes, but they're all off now. That's why I was asking if you turned them off. He breaks them no one. All right, so a single quick burst of this uh, is for signaling to apply brakes for a full stop. Too long is your proceed. Roger. So two quick is set brakes? No, oh, a single quick is full stop set brakes. Hmm. Two long is proceed. Um, one long followed by three quick says flagman protect set. rear of train. <clears throat> Set. Uh, three long is train is parted. Two quick is release the brakes. Answer to any signal not otherwise provided. Uh, no, you're losing cars. There. They're running away from you. <laughs> Did, huh? What? You don't see these cars running away from you? How? I don't know. All I did was hit the crane. If you have a long train, you can lose your load. Yeah, if the link breaks. Um, luckily, none of our grades on this route are super steep. Can you see a link in that car there? Because mm, it's nope. so fan phantom-y for me. Nope. Phantom carry? It gets yeeted. Big boy confirmed with the uh, tier one. Got it. Kabuki, make it happen. Polar Express win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now with those, uh, is there a whistle silent? Can you go ahead and read us the whistle that you would use for Runaway Train? Um... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight quick bursts. I have a feeling that's not true. But it says succession of short sounds warning to persons or livestock on track in imminent danger. Um, you can also do one long, one quick warning at locations where view is obstructed. Response to yellow flag. Huh. Warning to other bursts on or near track. One long is approaching station. Two long plus one quick short is approaching waiting or meeting point. Why is my 
my train not moving? How many cars do we have hooked up right now? Oh, it's an idle. Six. Point. It's seven, so this other one that's rolling in needs to get connected. Oh, I might have just had a wagon on two wheels for a second. That's fine, right? My little totally. wagon, come back home. That's come fine. It's all going really great. Yes, backwards. I said yeeting point. <laughs> Excellent. Well, hello. Hopefully everything's still connected. Okay, chat, be honest. Is a bottle of wine a week too nope. much? Your last three cars are disconnected. Or is that fine? Is that considered fine? I connected oh. now? Yeah. <laughs> Just eat it, why not? <laughs> Ramming speed! Uh, now the last three are just running away. <laughs> well, I reconnected one of them. Ramming speed for the win. Here I come. Brakes are set. No, oh, that no, no. That I missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was that. a time when I'd say, "Hey, Uthrus, come fix." Now it's a party. Come back, car. Yeah, leave me alone. Don't talk to me. How much time does I, I drink one bottle over a week? Too much, Arnett. That's fine. not enough. Well, it depends. No, is it, is it a white or a red? Oh, it's a red. Yeah, we'll finish for God one car. Uh, yeah, I missed it. It'll. Well, we'll get it. Can you make sure that's not gonna derail? By the way, I don't. I don't know what the signals are set as right now. Come on. I'm yep. Uh, so you were saying? <laughs> huh? <sighs> okay, what are we at? Uh, 4283. They're all good. All right. Thank you. Now we got to back it up and. Isn't that just $17 off from getting a mogul? You can back it up. You got it. I sell like two things of fire with me. He's good. I'm saying is if I remember it's 4300 for the mogul. Yeah. So uh, basically once I unload this one wagon, we got the mogul. Here. Is silent. <laughs> yes, there is a plan, Matt, for uh, that to be a thing. So a bottle a week is perfectly fine. I think in Scotland a bottle a day is okay. Huh? <clears throat> How much do you get for water. a load? Uh, this uh, this whole train was worth, I think, twelve eighty. So by that logic, Uthris, would Ireland be a bottle an hour? Uh. Maybe five. A oh, five would be Russia. No, that's vodka. But it'd still be a bottle of uh, five bottles an hour. True. Depends on the wine, what type of week you've had, and also depends on how large the bottle is. The bottle size is just standard, I would say. Just what About the size that you would think for a wine bottle. And then it's a uh, uh, Zenkunfel red wine. Zenfundo? Uh, Zenfundo, whatever. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's do it. Gotta do these links, man. I 
can't see the links. Name. But I do have them re-railed, re so. Guthers Railco. Number. This is the 501 Coke Mogul. All right, looks like uh, we can go check this thing out. There we go, we did it. Bye, gamer. Thanks for swinging by. So what do you guys think? It's pretty cool. Got phantom links in that. Let's uh, pull it into the station and see if these are reconnected. Okay. <sighs> I guess I'll back it up here. Look at that big old beefy tender boy. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see. Reverser back what? here. I'm seeing the bell like completely disconnected from Betsy right now. Break. Yeah, that's normal. Is it starting pressure? It's not or actually a snow plow, a but remember it's a cattle plow or something. But the plow is used to like just move animals and livestock off the trucks. You need to fill it up on water. How am I supposed to fill it up on water when it's not it doesn't start with water? <laughs> local, take a save. No, it has it has water. It has water. It's got a bit. Um, um I only got half. Yeah. There's a valve. There's only the a little bit of water inside. Yeah, yeah. We'll pull forward and grab it. Just, uh, we're going to hook up the tender first. But I know that the tender is empty. All right. Now we just got to wait for this thing to uh, heat up. I do like the looks of it. That's pinned. Let's hopefully hope that grabs them all. I feel like this is the best looking train in the game at the moment. Nope. Missed one. Whenever you're ready. She yep. has a butte. Go ahead. Those are connected. Not sure about that. This one's still phantomy. Just finished playing original COD campaign. Classy. Head back to the station slowly. I want to check this connection. Nope. God damn it. I see the link. Looks like the train from Back in the Future 3. Mm. Yeah, it gives that vibe. Yeah, I can't see a link. Oh, here we go. But the, the, the problem is, is that I just took that one out because I think this one has a link. It's Phantom. So I'm going to try Ooh. dropping a pin here. Okay, we're getting pressure. This, and we'll see if we can back in and pin it. Because if there's a Phantom link, it might hook up. That's what I'm thinking. What's the point of the little skybox thing? Also, if you want to go push it forward, texture is or right back on. or whatever. Because then I can try it back here. The Coke try. is similar to every cheap battery operated train set. True. Uh, this is a game set in America, Loginson area, and it would be cool to see some old European narrow gauge boys. There's no European. Narragut boys coming along. <laughs> All right, linked. Eat. Except for the last one. <laughs> what are you doing? That almost tipped. Do I want to know what you're doing? We're reconnecting cars right now. I went into a, a full.
full reverse yeet, and I just watched us two of the cars went up on two wheels. We still don't have the last one. So does this thing only get water from its tender? Or the the extra wagon in the back? You able to see the link for the last one? Uh, I didn't know. It has oh, yeah, doors. Yeah. Yes, it does. We're we're in a civilization now, chat. We're doing, link we're doing someone, good. one of the two. So it's a matter of phantom linking. So we'll just try do what we did here and just put a pin on one side and see if it works. And if that doesn't, we'll pin the other side first. Yeah, but I could see the link in that other one. Oh. I just can't yeah. see it for these two. Well, if they're misbehaving, we'll just throw them in, into the siding and grab mm. another one if it works. Nailed it. Yep. Okay. We are gaining water. It is It is now a process. Uh, do you want to connect a cook to the cars on the high slot? Uh, let's split them. Uh, uh, Heisler can take eight. Do you, do you want to maybe... Hmm, Real quick, um, park eight of the wagons in the side of the yard here and park the Heisler. Or you can use them if you want, or you can come with me. Uh, but we're only going to bring eight. I don't want to do 16 wagons all the time. Uh, but I need to go up and get some cordwood and deliver some cordwood around. I think hey, we now need I see a load to the smelter. And yeah, also... I just re railed it. Okay, so I'll, I'll try to park them. Rail it and yeah. Use yeah. Links again. Yeah. Where are you from, Wolf? I'm from Austria. Austria. Nice. I'm not oh, even wow. sure this train is actually railed or not. We'll find out. <laughs> Okay. Part of what uh, part of Austria? A part that I'm not gonna know. <laughs> oh, but I might. Yeah, <laughs> you've been to Austria. My grandfather's from Austria. From Vienna. Okay. Go back to the station. Brakes are released. The uh, part of Austria that my grandfather's from was Obero. A streak. Hey, look, uh, we got eight cars connected. Yay. Yay. Oh, no, not again. What? I'm stuck in the damn carriage again. Run in the opposite direction and then I'm going. I am. There you go. Um, can you, um, real quick, um, break that train in half? I, I, I want to pull eight wagons, uh, of it. So you're only parking eight. Well, there's eight wagons over here too, if you want. For, for cordwood? Lumber and oh, for lumber and boards. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I need to get cordwood over to the smelter, right? You, you ah, put in yeah. an order. I'm trying to fulfill what you've asked of me to do. I need about 75 cordwood or so. Fill it up. We're just doing lumber in the first three cars and then rails on the rest. Yeah. So you have 18 and whatever the rest is, 15 or so. Till there's like snow in the game and weather. Make use of that awesome snow plow on the front of this thing. It's not a snow plow. What, the cow catcher? Uh huh. I mean, this one has metal 
sheet, like it's a plow. Like you wouldn't have that solid piece of metal on it if it wasn't partly a plow. That turns it into a tender razor. <laughs> That's just called McDonald's, Uthris. <laughs> Big dumb. Oh, CEO sure was taking orders fight. from the track layer. Got a level working CEO. True. Um, maybe they've talked about wanting to do it. I should probably be a little bit more broad in my uh, statements. <laughs> more to mostly push rock fall out of the way. Why are you guys throwing rocks on the ramp? That makes no sense. It's for snow. So, what's the uh, top speed of the mogul, Kabuki? How fast does it compare to, say, the porters with the current wheel slip bug? The porters are the fastest, period. Because porter life. have a problem going in reverse or something you guys don't throw rocks on the rails I mean you know I have been known to put pennies on a rail Start from a neutral position angle. You have to kind of rock it. Huh. I mean, I can't just zero to 60 yeet. I mean, I mean, that's going to make you not want to drive it ever. This is our, this is our first name logo. Bit of a bit of a bug pull forward and then back to reverse. That's being worked on. Roger. Thank you, missed. Yeah, are you gonna make it? Did. Are you guys gonna make it eventually to where like I can't clip through the side of the cab and I actually have to go through the door? Okay, what? install what that, and then we'll come over here. Well, it was fine where it was at, but now I just have to use the other crane. <laughs> I can't tell the desync so far. So the connection rugs get stopped at either full extension in the driving pistons or yep. medium extension. Okay. I'm just going to push these up the mountain instead of reversing the porter because why not? You'll have to check the flags as we go up the hill. I don't want to. I eat. All right, we are rolling. When was the last time you saved? Uh, now. Wait, I released a break. <sighs> wait, you told me to stop the train? Or wait on saving? It's fine. <laughs> nope. I just released a... Break on the last on the last train. Ah, okay. Uh, last Roger. car. I'ma hop off here and get something to eat. What you gonna have for food? I have no idea. I figure that out when I get into the kitchen. <laughs> Look, I had Taco Bell because people keep donating for Taco Bell, and <laughs> I'm gonna keep using that money for Taco Bell. <laughs> Alright, that's linked up. So we'll take the mogul up to uh Y'all have a good one. The lumber camp. Yeah, you too. And then uh we will 
I guess take some lumber or some cordwood to the smelter. You had a Yarrow Burger? Oh, that sounds real good. And now I want a Yarrow. All right, let's see how fast this thing can go. 100% throttle. Um, Ultras, did you fully fill her up? With water? Yeah, it's got full water. Maximum yeet. Yep. Can you visually tell from the back there? Because for me it's still empty. Oh. Well, the water sign up front. Is, okay, maybe it's not fully full up. But it's way more than half, so uh, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, the tender is empty and the glass is... Uh, About three fourths. Don't worry, we'll we'll get some water at the uh, lumber camp. We should be fine. Yeah, about that. Yes, I pronounce it gyro, gyro, whatever, because I'm an American. From West Virginia. And that's how we said it there. Probably heat up my food early tonight, so I'm not Dude, eating. This thing Timber. is like kill crushing this hill. Yeah, it's a speedy boy. You're a Cali yeah, boy. A train like that'll look really good going up and down the main line. Yeah. It's, it's honestly gonna fast. look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's honestly gonna look good doing anything, honestly. Where's the other porter at? Well, I got Betsy. Last I saw, Betsy was still at the depot. No, it was up here by the lumber camp a bit ago. Give us the old toot. We need to, need to hear that new horn. I'm free to go. Oh, also, I need to see what the uh, cylinder smoke looks like. Oh, yeah! I think the Heisler still sounds better. She looks really nice with uh, the cylinder cocks on. Yeah. They're only technically supposed to be used in the station. Not supposed to be used while moving. It's fine. Good night from Clay, West Virginia. Have a good night. From New Jersey suburbs and New York City. Yeah, to we drain have the, the water pizza. out of the cylinder, the condensed water. Yeah. Chicago has entered the chat. This is a test to see if we can take this downhill out speed. Gotta do no brake. 
How long until the devs make it so that water towers have to collect rainwater to provide your engines with water? Singer, it doesn't rain. Um... <laughs> your pizza is as thin as a cracker. Oh boy. New York and Chicago is going to go at it with, with their uh, casserole versus pizza argument. Track layer is Union Kabuki. Track layer? Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe you guys could unionize if you actually provided a good service. Hey, Hydro Whistle, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. And everyone else joining us today? We're having a good time. We got a new train. She's looking good. Here in Chicago, deep dish is to die for, though. I'm a fan of deep dish. I am. Yes. Hey! It's the little porter. It's still around. The little porter that could? Yeah. Definitely need to do some reworking on the track between the smelter and the iron mine. While you're loading, you I'm going to go flip the flags. You don't even have pizza. You have a casserole. You call it pizza. You're an insult to Italy and the rest of the world. I like my crust a bit thicker. Another monstrosity that is a deep dish. Wow. Shots fired. Every time I've had deep dish, it was always just burnt to a crisp on the bottom. I love deep it was dish always pizza. Room. If but you can I get also it like normal pizza. Right. I just like pizza, okay? Hey, man, it comes out every food group. It, yeah, everything it covers it all. Everything a grown boy needs. The Uthris Railco 501. Look at some of the cook. 1554 Patterson, New Jersey, L&M Co. Should say Urco there. Can't really read that. Number... Uh, what is this? 99467 Apparatus Patent. <laughs> you know it's the age of like the 1800s and early 1900s when they start putting patent like verbiage on the on the engine itself. It's like don't copy this. Do I have a number 404? I do not. If I did, it would be blue in error. I'm definitely not a fan of thin, super thin crust pizza. Yeah, I don't like super thin crust either. It's got, it's no. got to have some, some girth. All right, I'll pull forward. Here it goes. Pizza fold is irrelevant when there's not enough toppings to make it a, you know, filling. Yeah, if the, if the crust, even if you fold it, fails to hold the ingredients, the crust is too thin. Okay. Or, if you fold a pizza and it breaks like a goddamn cracker, it's too thin. Alright. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that need that. Okay, I'm ripping this rail up. No more. Oh boy, he's unionizing, guys. Well, oh, the entire train just fell down the mountain. This is the section you built. I need to pull forward a bit, don't I? Yeah. Maybe I'll just leave it there. I'm gonna pull forward like a quarter of a car.
Folded pizza is a calzone. True. Only if it's fully sealed. It's still basically a calzone, even if it's not fully sealed. This is the section you built? What do you mean? What did I do? What? Where are uh, you? you? You want me to take a picture? Is this the section that Kabuki redone or that I did? Because you're going out to the iron ore mine? Yeah, it's the turn immediately after your weird little super sharp bridge. How dare you? Congrats on the new governor. Oh wait, it's not even a real Virginia. <laughs> do 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 do. You can see what your rail did. Don't don't you badmouth me in my rail. Okay. I'm the You're one like, that posted a screenshot earlier of your wobbly tracks in real life, alright? I know what you're doing. Well, I wish I had a good pizza around me. I don't really have one. I have some mod pizzas, but those are like the chipotles of pizzas, you know? Just build your own, throw it in the huge oven, and cook it real fast. It's good, though. And last one. Do you want to pull it forward? Hmm. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, sure. What I don't get is this, like, the, 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 um, margarita pizza. It makes no sense to me. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Like, the, the what? Sauce and oil and basil and call it a pizza. Like, mm -mm. There ain't meat, it ain't pizza. Yeah, no. Like, I have to have pepperoni, salami, sausage, bacon, minimum. There has to be four different types of meats on there, all right? And then I get ricotta and mozzarella, sometimes Asiago cheese with Parmesan cheese, and then also some chopped garlic on it. And then when it's all done, you put some red sauce on top. All right, that's a pizza. But I do love pineapple. Pineapple is good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to kick you from the server now. Hold on. Pineapple is life. You, you, you were dis you disgust me, good sir. <laughs> hey man, it's just one of those food groups you gotta eat. Food groups. Pineapple is a dessert that you have after sushi. Half a car, and. Nah, a little bit more. Order car. Around here, you can actually eat a plain pizza that's decent. I'd, I'd still wouldn't want to. Keep going. I still wouldn't want to. Why? Why would I want a plain pizza? You're one quarter length uh, to go forward. I just eat pineapple whenever. Ugh. Ugh. Mm -mm. Tastes good. And stop. Look at these Urco style cars.
I, why does everyone want pineapple on a pizza now? Because it's amazing. No. Just no. It's, it's, it's just, no. Pineapple when eaten raw has an enzyme that starts to break down your mouth. So yes, when you eat it, it eats you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you ever used pineapple to tenderize a steak? Uh, ham? Yeah, I mean, no. Obviously, like, you know, you cook ham with some pineapple on it. No, like, if you marinate a steak in pineapple, uh, if you leave it too long, it'll, like, begin disintegrating the steak. Oh, do you mean you just, like, any other acidic, like, If you leave fruit? it in for, like, an hour, it just makes it amazing. So why you swallow the pineapple so you don't die? True. Pineapple pizza is worse than deep dish. At least deep dish has half decent ingredients. Agreed. Agreed. No culture. Culture? Man, if, if you keep this up, I'm gonna buy you a trailer so you can live down by the river with your poor pineapple pizza eating ass. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You're good. Okay. Living down by the river. True, it does. In a van down by the river. Given the traditional pizza, it's all about complimenting the crust. I don't care, as long as it's that pineapple. We're anchovies. Neither of those belong in the pizza. Sorry. I can agree with anchovies not belonging. pizza oh my god actually would ahi tuna taste good on a pizza fish of any kind on a pizza is just heresy i feel like ahi tuna would be okay because that's an actual like good fish there's no such thing what you mean to tell me you don't like sushi right now? I won't eat any seafood, period. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm uncooked tuna? Um, yeah, uncooked tuna, sushi. Put sushi on some pizza. Alright, we load it up, looks like it. Looks like we're leaving first, log man. This is annoying. Yeah, we still have plenty of water. We're fine. It re-railed the car inside of me. Now I'm stuck. You don't... You don't trust raw seafood? Man. I had such good sushi over the weekend. Oh, man. Had some nigiri... Um, fatty tuna pieces with uh, a spicy tuna hand roll. Mmm. Some yellow tail. Some eel. Mmm. Eel's good. Yes, back when everyone could re rail. It's the greatest ups update since the Firewood Depression. 
Nikiri is not the N word. Jesus Christ, people. Get some culture. It's a type of sushi. It's Nihongo. Anatawa Nihongo Hanashimasu ka? Maintain that if you don't like sushi, you just haven't had good sushi yet. I maintain that as well. Look, I love sushi. Um, first time I had sushi, I threw it up. Just because it was not good. <laughs> and it's Interested, a... you said uh, outbound uh, switches? Uh, good question. Um, I suppose we'll find out when we derail. Oh, you're not allowed to run ahead. Nope. Train's out 100% now. You better run, boy! This is, this is the mogul yeet test of yeet. Actually, pulling it to 100% drained the pressure pretty bad. Yeah, they're all set. What's anticlimactic? A boomer. Got to fill the tender with water yet? Nah, we can do that at the uh, main depot though. Already triggered Chicago person big time. Just done with that for the night. I'm gonna eat some Arby's, no pizza. I mean, I heard they got the meat. What's the max turn radius for the mogul? Mm, I think I've been. I, I've seen people say 30. Ugh. We're out of power. That's around 20. 20 degrees is the max, like a max speed maximum, or just like max in general, like any speed, can't take it. For me, sushi is a texture issue. Yeah, I can see how that is a thing. But that's just me, and I can be picky about that, honestly. Well, like, so, um, if you get Max like speed. A, max speed, Roger. Um, I mean, if you get... So there's multiple types of sushi, right? There's sashimi, which is just a raw fish. There's nigiri, which is the raw fish over rice. Then there's the actual roll. And then there's also the hand roll. So each of those are gonna have a different type of texture on it. For some reason, Wolf's voice fits the player of the character. Wolf, are you gonna be the voice actor? For Yeah, but does your mogul go, you know, through those corners at max speed, Chad? Then you have tempura. Well, that's cooked. That's different. Why are you spamming Dune? It's it's a book and a movie. I'm confused. Just crawling speed? Yeah, it can it can definitely take that then. If you like a good raw fish dipped in batter and deep fried, uh, that's no longer a raw fish. I, I'll tell you what I do like though. This is such a dumb joke. Never mind. We'll stop. Uh Game design teacher is obsessed with Dune to the point that he wants us to go see it for extra credit. Jesus. Mogul is top heavy, so full speed is only around open corners. Yeah. You want to hear a good? It's it's a dumb joke. All right. 
it's a for some reason like the when someone said I like a good raw fish dip in batter and deep fried like my old my friend's joke from high school popped in my head and he always he always said that he liked his women like he liked his uh, pizza hot and ready for five dollars. It's a little Caesar's joke for you guys. There you go. Do I play Icarus? I have not. My favorite joke is my family is German. We love drinking. The problem is after a bender, we often wake up in the Polish neighbors yard. Someone who lives a solid five minute walk from Little Caesars, fair. Yep. Uh, you're talking about the map in the corner? There's a website that you can upload your save to and they uh, it, it generates the map. Little Caesars? Okay, we're going back on the topic of pizza uh, for a second. Little Caesar's Pizza is such a unique tasting pizza. It's probably crap, but at the same time, it's so good. It's the only pizza that tastes that good for how bad it is. Yeah, you can renumber them. I'm, I'm waiting for, for being able to rename them. I would like to be able to rename them. Have I tried play, pulling a tender with a porter? No, not yet. I like fresh Little Caesars. I like any Little Caesars. All right, I'm back. Little Caesars is your favorite mainstream pizza restaurant? Dude, they revolutionized the whole pizza thing. It's a like pizza you get for a kid's party. True. Around where I'm at, Little Caesars is hit or miss. It's either great or it's absolutely terrible. What's the website? What's that? So, like, if you want to see the bigger version of my map, it looks like this. Okay, so we need to pull in and uh, we're not dropping this off for money. We're dropping this off for firewood, actually. Wait, I went the wrong way. I, I meant I meant to go to the... Uh... Smelter? Yeah. I'm on autopilot right now. Oh, take the loop. Turn around. Yep, taking the loop. abandoned the porter on the line. That line needs to be fixed. You can now rename as well, although I haven't used it because it felt like it's kind of cheating. You possibly could grow up. Yeah, that's my main concern about it. Once you can, once the devs make it legitimate to rename, then you know it's okay. What about these other things? Like, uh, near smelter cargo firewood amount 46. What what does that even mean? What does the amount mean? Let me zoom in and have a look. Can I like use it to cheat and spawn cargo on it? What is your full-size map empty? Can I pull it up. Is? Yeah, it's completely blank. Shouldn't be blank. Well, what I'm looking at is blank. Want to mess with a car guy? If he drives a Porsche, ask him if he likes to drive a souped up Volkswagen and watch him die on the inside. <laughs> well, he made some more updates to the website again by the looks of it. Yep. That background still needs to go. Or change the it's a bit white. better now. Yeah, but the white text still is difficult to read. 
Yeah, the, the save that you upload is completely empty. Oh, well. Oh, well. Plus it says that you only have four locomotives. Well, that was at the start of the stream. That would be true. That'd be a true statement. Ah, oh, you already flipped the switch. Very good. That's why I ran forward. You know what? I might I might give this man a salary over you, uh, Silent. He seems to be doing a much better job. Considering I built half your network. You know, if you keep complaining like this, you're never going to get out of debt, my friend. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Hmm. Uthris from Uthris Relco. It's not here. For handouts. Alright, so we need to go straight all the way down the main line here, so we need to actually slow down. Stop. It's the brake, slowly to work. Who is on my train? Is everyone just on my train? Yeah. Yeah. Yarp. I had, I was forced to respawn because I re-railed a car on top of I'm myself. I'm with you in the cabin. Out. Oh, that's you, Simon? Yeah, I'm top of the cord loops. Okay. I'm an American car man. I love Chevy trucks. I like some Ford trucks. And I love Lincoln. Old school ones. Well, all of those choices sound awful and I apologize. Canderso is on the server. Who's that? Canderso? Isn't that uh, Paul? Is it? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how Wolf got the password. Do you know I... Paul? Oh, he's... Wolf sent me a message, so I give him the password. Is he even a member? <laughs> 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 I don't even know anymore. Well, too I, I am a member. Uh, Discord is a little lax in actually properly updating the ranks automatically. There's a flag. Flag man, go. Uh... You guessed it last time? Well, you also know what it was already. Open the windows on here. No. Oh, yep. Get some fresh air. Chat's calling for a save. Save? Save. I'm a mechanic, I work on GM Chevy, and all I gotta say is that they're all junk. Ford stands for found on road dead. Or fix or repair daily. My first car chat was my uh, 1994 Toyota Lexus. on race day yeah first on race day no yeah but if you swap out the engine then it's no longer a Ford yep it's an upgrade <laughs> it's it's everything but a Ford. What you need to do is find, try, try and find a cop that is chasing you down in a Prius. 
And then when he asks why he pulled you over, you say, because I let you. Mm -hmm. I think it's funny that we have brake lights. Maximum heatage. Uh, this is only 30% power. But she goes decently well. All right, Paul. No worries. We're not near you, so you're you're free. Good morning from Dublin. Well, hello. You got 500,000 miles on a 1996. Chevy Caprice, she still runs great too. Um, I have no clue what the switch situation is up here. Switch is set to go to the iron run. Alright, well. Is this where you're getting off so you can go back to the iron mine or where where did your where did you leave your train? On the other side of your death bridge. So shouldn't you go get it? I'd have to re-rail the entire thing. Yeah. Don't make a mess in my damn train line. I also have to rip up the whole track. Yeah. So it sounds like this is your stop. You got 40% turn that you have over there as well. I don't have a 40% turn over there. Okay. It's probably a 35. Probably, probably why I derailed. Well, you know what? You're walking now. Not my problem. I'm just gonna put in a great big long straight bridge. <sighs> You're lucky I'm drinking wine. And being very bougie right now. In a, a straight bridge can look good. I don't know why, but I, I really like going like full whistle, half whistle. It sounds fun. Straight bridges are terrible. I agree. Everything sound that makes it terrible. I kid. I kid. I think the iron line needs to get reworked before the coal line does. Um, probably. This one intersection here where you ripped out the straight bridge. No clue that how this corner is going to take it. Okay, we're fine. What? This, this whole, like, bridge that you put in, it, this area is probably going to take several hours to redo. No, it won't. I could probably fix it in like 30 minutes. Jesus Christ. As long as it's yeetable when it's done. I'm not. I don't like yeetable rails. It may, I might as well just make a straight line. I want some tension. I want some like thinking when people are driving trains. It's not just, okay, full throttle, let's go. I think a straight bridge here could work, though. If you put it into a much shorter gap than where I originally had it. I mean, honestly, a straight bridge would work fine, yeah. But, like, how are you going to gain altitude without having to do the helix? You would have to go further. Well, because right after that Y that goes between smelter and iron, it starts going down. You just start climbing at that point, and you'll gain your altitude there. Uh -huh. There's really no reason for it to be going down at that point. I 
Why is it when I'm trying to re-rail one that's in the ground, it's picking up the one that's already attached to the loco? Oh. New feature? Uh... I don't know. I think our grade is 3%, if I had to guess. Is our entrance down to the smelter now 3%? Uh, 2%. Yeah. Coming down the hill is still 3%, but the rework section is all 2%. Up until you get to that very last um, turn that actually turns into the final. That one I had to keep at 3. 2.5 or somewhere in there. Trying to re-rail cars onto a turn just does not work. No, it does. It does not work very well at all. It just falls over. Which is awkward because that's exactly where this whole thing is derailed at, is on a turn. Okay, there we go. Finish my wine. Back in a sec before my microwave yells at me anymore. Do, 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 do. Hello, MGL. Um, actually, I need to go the opposite way. One mogul, ten empty hoppers, seven beams, four lumber for the iron ore mine, and six cordwood heading to this monitor. What could go wrong? Um, yeah, I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't you worry. Does, does the mogul have a front hitch? Hello. What is that? What is that? A light? Yes. Yes, a front hitch, or yes, a light. Uh, she has a front hitch. But the plow kind of cow catcher is just kind of using it, I guess. Oh, okay, it does that. Kind of interesting. Should we get some water here? Yeah, we'll get some water here. Good spot. Try to go a bit forward. I think I'm the water hose thing is from missing for me. Okay, I think I have to go a bit forward, anyways. Find it odd that the water tank for that is in the tender. When well, there's no hoses that connect them together. I think the assumption is that you you pipe them up over time or something. I don't. I don't Kabuki, why is there no hose connecting the tender to the uh, boiler? Or is there supposed to be? Okay, is that filling up now? Yep. 
takes quite a long time to fill up. Noted. Uh, how many... We have 83 raw iron to deliver. We have 40 rails to deliver. Reasons just wasn't modeled. Okay. A lot of those hoses and lines aren't modeled. Things would probably quadruple or poly count if they were. But what you could do in theory is, you know how we have the string here for the bell? Just do that. You know? Just have something like this. Like, this isn't a high poly thing, but if you had, like, a couple of them, like, running, you know, down from the bottom over, I think it would look cool. 82 logs in the pond here. Rod. I don't know if you joined my company, Paul. Mm. Okay. I think that's enough water for now. Sorry, I misclicked. <laughs> oh, just dumping my valuable cargo. Okay, I see how it is. Might as well just take me all back and put me down. <laughs> you know, to factor in the flex of those. So it would clip and cause issues. I'm sure there's a variable you could set to those uh, for... Um, you know. Is Kabuki a dev? Kabuki is a fox. And a dev. Dev man good. Yes. It's a dev. Confirmed. You know, when we make enough money, is it just going to be quicker for us to just rebuy the tender or the uh, the fuel wagon on these things instead of just reloading up all the firewood? From, from a time perspective. I mean, you really don't want to sit there and throw a thousand logs into the, the tender? I don't know. Well, I sure feel, Richard. Do you want some log cars? Um... I don't think we need any log cars, but what level are you, Paul? If you're level two and you can buy like eight um, flat wagons for like um, beams and um, planks, that would be great. How many of those do you want? I mean, we're at what, 16? I mean, are you using all of them right now? I would like I to have, have enough have for eight of them with me, and There's eight of them sitting at the mill. I mean, I would like I to mean, have enough to run trying to reroute. four trains of eight of each wagon type. Is ideally what I would want to have. I don't know if I'm going to be able to re-rail this train. It's sitting on this curb. Is the game worth a buy? Will be there be a sale soon? I don't know when... Um, when a sale will happen there. But, uh, you know, I'm already at 156 total hours. Oh, this is set wrong. Why is this junction still here? Because I didn't feel like taking it out. Okay. And I took most of it out. Which 
get more coal cars. Yes, we need more coal cars. But honestly, I, I feel like we need to be able to store like a hundred. Like we need a hundred iron ore before we can even use 10 coal cars worth of wagons for it, you know? And then we need a hundred coal, um, which is a whole bunch of other stuff. The ability to add such so purchase a storage yard with at the industry to store more material. Oh great. All of these rail cars are all have phantom links. Can't actually hook anything up. Oh you're just having a fun time silent. Looking to buying it? Yeah, sure. I mean, like, if you enjoy building and, you know, running trains and stuff, this game would definitely uh, be a good one for you. All right, now we need to reverse to drop off cordwood. The thing here. I'm gonna drop uh, half of it off and see what storage good to go. looks like. Roger. First thing. Gotta go for the night. All right, Aiden, thanks for swinging by. Hello, D. Good to see everyone in stream today. If you're enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe. Hit that like button. Leave a comment or Become a member today and enjoy the emotes. Has anyone tried 64 multiplayer yet? I doubt it would work very well. If you're in my company, feel free to unload those as they're going by. Stop. Stopped. Is that all that can fit in the storage yard, or can we do one more? Okay. Are we... Why is left mouse nope. button not rotating? That's all that can fit. We would need to shunt. Oh, well, this this can reach the platform, though. Oh. Yeah, I think I remember testing it at one point with shunting, and it, it um, I could fit four on it. It's actually happened in tests. Someone said they were down about 20 FPS, and that was fine until their main freight ran head along into their coal train while the host was in the toilet. <laughs> oh, boy. Sounds like a party. Um, let's just see. It's a pretty shite situation, yeah. Actually, we're only halfway. Um, we'll go ahead and shunt. We'll, uh, we'll pull forward and then drop off half and 
back forward and the rest. Uh, we'll store these in sighting number three. So not all the way to the right, but just one over. I think we'd be fine. Okay. Right from my perspective, from like looking back from the engine now. If we were in slot one, slot three would be the one you're basically standing at, yeah. Reverse. Reverse. Hey, well, I got everything back on the rails. There you go. Step one complete. I'm proud of you. But phantom links are preventing me from connecting the two sections of train. Okay, so something I have noticed after drinking wine tonight is, man, I'm freaking tired. Jesus Christ. Ugh. If you can get a slight S bend there and unload two at a time rolling forward. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted something that looked a little bit more clean than trying to really squeeze in, uh, stuff. Alright, if we want to disconnect, put the brick on them too. Uh, even going around this corner at 5% speed, it's still tipping them up on two, two wheels. Disconnected. Look, I'm just saying Kabuki worked out that area, okay? He reworked it because I derailed there at one point. I'm gonna blame Kabuki. Throwing me out of the train? Yeah, I am. Because the climax can come back. needs fix. Alright? Climax needs fix. Back me up. Is that the Memorial Uthris Bridge that Kabuki built? Yep. Probably is. No, I couldn't trust that fox. Well, didn't Kabuki say that foxes were part toddler? You never trust a toddler. I'm sorry, did you just translate that to asshole? Because that's what I did. Nah. Kabuki's a good dude. Can you I do a foxes. rolling on with straight track? Yep, you can. Just takes a bit to figure out the right speed. Really speeds up unloading. Yes, it does. Hashtag blame Kabuki. Hashtag where's my... Uh, uh, big boy. Big boy. Those, those are the questions we need answered. Don't make me have to tell Kume to remove the anyone can rerail ability. I'm pretty sure that might cause a riot. Right, here's hoping I don't derail anymore. Where's my Polar Express?
put the big boy frame onto a narrow gauge chassis. Miniaturization technology. Is there a brake set on this thing back here? No. Looks like there is. Hashtag pineapple and pizza. Shouldn't be. Uh, no, it's not. It's just felt like the train was dragging. Maybe it's, I'm just losing pressure. When in doubt, just throw woods on the fire. Big boy junior. Okay. Actually, I might leave the train here for now, at least for what I have with it. If there's hit an interesting challenge for like a new save, you're only allowed to use 1% grade and 5% turns. For 1%? Everything. What? Think of it as a challenge. It's not even a. Uh, no. No. Ew. Ew. Think of how long your rails would have to be in order to, like, hook anything up. I'd be fine with the 1% grade any turn. Okay, 1% well, 5%? Of, maybe instead of a max of 5, you say no more than 15. Are you uh, on your way back up that hill? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the way up. Are you coming up behind me? Uh, no. Okay, um, I think I'm done operating a train for a little bit. I'm going to switch to working on these junctions and stuff. So, Wolf, you're free to take the mogul if you want. Check out the other bits of the line if you want to as well. With it. Up to you. Okay. Yep. You can run any cargo that you want. You can go pick up beams, planks, take it to the iron ore mine. You can go, uh, um, I need to reconnect this somehow. Oh, well, we don't need that Y junction anymore, so. Yeah, you do. There's still the outer loop that needs to connect over here. Yeah, but what I'm saying is you don't need the Y that goes under the bridge. No, you're right there. You can put together a train of lumber cars here if you like. Um, sure. We need lumber and beams taken to the iron ore mine to produce iron ore. We need stuff taken up to the coal mine to produce coal. So that's beams and rails, um, which all use that same wagon type. Um, so I want to get a decent stockpile of iron and coal so that I have a bit of an incentive to go ahead and buy more coal wagons. At the moment, I kind of don't. Okay, is that fine? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I imagine it'll probably be at least, what, a week before we have the incentive to even hook up uh, the oil field and refinery? A week? I mean, we have tools, pipes already produced. Yeah, but not really in any quantity. Not any good quantity, no. If you can't take, like, a full load, it's not really worth it. Someone wants to bring the mogul up there. Uh, you can get the train ready. 
Do you want to do that, Wolf? The Heisler is back at uh, Freightyard. Yeah, the Heisler's over there. And I don't even know where Bitsy's at. Uh, that's what he's using. What Paul is using, I think, at the moment to, like, shunt. Hey, look at that. I arrived at the Iron Mine. Nice. Actually, you, uh, they reworked the platform, so how does it look? Yeah. I'm about to find out. I'm going to stop short of the platform so I don't, uh... Oh, apparently half my wagons disconnected themselves. Lovely. <laughs> Come back! Flip said they're going at like the perfect speed to unload. It's just too bad they already passed the unload point. And too bad they're running away. Oh, they stopped. Um. Wow, that got moved way back. Uh. Mistake. What do you mean by way back? Well, before they were pretty much hugging that line that you had set, right? Yeah. Yeah, not no more. Hashtag not no more. Kevlar, thank you for the sub, appreciate it. You know your, your wooden trestle that you put underneath? Like, all three yeah. beams of one side are pretty much fully visible now. Wow. But did they even push back the, the main structure, too? No, the main structure seems to, seems to be wherever the same. So oh, it's you, possible. You have to do like a U you... shape to get around the main structure, then. No, 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 no. You're, you're, the way the track is laid is fine, but it almost forces you to like bend inwards if you wanted to line up. Now, what I don't know is if I drop beams, if it'll just catch it with no problem. Mm, try one. Also, um, the one platform is now embedded in your water tower. That's fine. It seems they moved it back a little bit, and the one was definitely moved like further up the line. This is now embedded in a tree and the water tower. Okay, clearing trees is my specialty. Oh boy. The server's actually running smooth, and you're just about to just ruin the whole experience. I cut down one tree. It's fucking ruined, man. I, I'm moving this water tower, though. Well, let's see if the hitbox on dropping this is fine. Good old Uther's Rock. The best rock in the game. Like a rock. Okay, well, the good news is you don't need to move your rail. It dropped, and it picked everything up with no issues. Oh, that's good. Like, just vacuumed it onto the platform. I kind of want to leave this old roadbed as like a marker of where the line used to go. That'd be cool. I don't see a reason to get rid of it. It's not like it has any performance impact. As far as I know. I think that'd be a cool thing. If there is a performance impact for it's staying there, that'd be one thing, but... <laughs> this part of the curve kind of fails. I wonder if I can go a bit wider. smoother okay that looks good i don't think anyone's bringing the mogul to you um paul i guess i can i'm waiting for it to fill up with water because oh. it was empty again okay see so you Man, if the mogul is empty it's just burning water 
Yeah, I think it guzzles water and fuel pretty well. Wait, why are these not connecting? What? See the link? I dropped the pen. It doesn't connect. Do you want me to come up there? You might have to. Okay. Unless there's a link in this one that I'm not seeing. Uthrus likes rocks. Uthrus does like rocks. The only explanation is that there's a link in there that I just can't see. Yep. Okay, I'm on my way. I had to run, so it's going to be a little while. I can just be smarter push than the equipment, doesn't it? Well, Kabuki, what would help is if uh, you guys fix the bug. Just a question. Hmm? Go ahead. Where are the rain cars for, uh, for the coal mine? Um, it's being loaded at the sawmill by Paul right now. So if you go kind of back the way we came, there's a junction right by the sawmill that'll take you to the uh, lumber side rather than the log side. Mogul holds 4,000 waters. It will empty the tower. Nice. Shall I leave the cars here or? Yeah, I leave them there. They're fine there. I'm still seeing some boards bouncing back on the um, the lumber one. The beams one had no issue. The the lumber, there's a little bit of bounce. For the lumber, go try and drop it a little closer to the staircase. It seems to work a little bit better. Burn time of the mogul was nerfed to just under nine minutes. 15 wood. So is it that bin right there that I'm looking at? Is the one you're talking about? We wait till the stream catches up. Yep, that's the one. That's the one I derailed on. I've never derailed there. I was only coming in at about 14, 13%. That's about what I take it at. I've broken links there, but I've never derailed there. I don't know, all of a sudden everything just went up with two wheels and then just fell off. It's a big mistake, went on a new save and then actually run over my other save by misclicking, lost everything, got to restart all over. Oh, dude, that sucks. Rip. You didn't rebuild that one, so yeah. Somehow it's still Kabuki's fault. Yeah, still blame you. I'm gonna fix this bridge real quick before making my way over to you. And I'm just unloading what I can. Very slowly climb out of debt. I'm at negative 6,800. Made $200. Another link? Do, 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 do. Ah, there's definitely a phantom link in there. 
Yeah. Just give me a second. Um, fixing this thing. At least you can do better. Yeah. I'm sure whatever you're making is gonna look really good. Yeah, I mean you've you've basically surveyed the land now, right? like a face of someone who would make track and derail a train if it's not a picture of your fox then uh it's really a pixel at all a picture at all to look at she had an albino fox Okay. I'm coming up to the sub model now. It's fun trying to fix one curve and end up with miles of track again, yeah. Still putting the train together. I'm, I'm finishing the unloading now. I was reading chat, man. Talking to you. Cars? Mm -hmm. Every men you want to bring. Be fine. How much sand, dude? Uh, the most engines out the front have a compartment for sand, and so all the sand will be in there. So you just kind of open that up and take a gander at it. Seems to be the best way to check. I am up 400 and change dollars to negative 6,700. Hmm. Slowly. I mean, it, it'll be nice when there's just more than just you that can buy everything, right? Well, something like that. I 
This whole fucking line's getting reworked. Yeah. Because the degree difference is uh, just that little bit off. You save that for tomorrow when you're off. Uh, good. So we got 59 iron ore ready for pickup. setting it ever so slightly so you can delete the original. Mm-hmm. Because I need something to stand on. Okay, uh, yeah, I think I will fix this in between. Let me go ahead and finish running up here for this train. We'll see what, what you did to it. It's just a, a phantom link. Mm -hmm. It's either there's two links and one of them I can't see and one I can. That's my best guess as to what it is. mod in a, uh, a train horn so it sounds like a tugboat. Mm -hmm. Sound will definitely do that, I'm sure. It's going to be so interesting with a lot of mods. How quickly the performance of the game just goes to zero. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone's just going to mod everything in there and it's like, yeah, I have to play by myself because the DC gets so bad when someone spawns in, all the signs turn into rocket ships. In my perfect catenary, catenary or whatever, how the fuck you say Catenary? That just sounds like a Star Wars canteen, okay? Cantina. But at the same time, I mean, the modders might even fix a lot of those issues. Um, depends on... I mean, it really didn't take long for modders in Skyrim to release the... What is it? The unofficial patch or whatever that fixed a lot of the issues that it had? In an FPS hey, um, well, yes. It depends on how moddable they're going to go with the game, right? If they True. if they gave engine access, yeah, they might start fixing some performance things. But if they only give like model import access like, and some functionality access like space engineers, then I expect it to go that way with performance, right? I don't know, wouldn't like the, the weapon core mod require engine access? And even the water mod? No, because it's it's it, water mod more so than the weapon mod. The weapon those type of things are block copies and like reskins and then just tweaking numbers. Alright, what do we got? We got uh Got a Lincoln pin it's there. The, it's the back back four that has the phantom. Okay, there you go. Back her up. Hmm. 
everything in first person is so jank right now. Spring switches are not going to be a thing ever in the game. Unless someone mods it, right? But, but uh, kick switches have been confirmed to be a thing. There you go. To release the brakes. I'm releasing brakes. I'm glad you took this game and ran with it. Stunning Betsy, work. Come back here. Thanks. What? Great. And now Betsy has a fandom link. <laughs> Betsy. What a bad bitch. All right. That one's cleared. This one's good. Back her up. Spring switches are something people want, but they're pointless? No, I don't think they're pointless. They don't do the the kick switches as good as kick switches, or as good as spring, you know. Kick switches cannot be as good as spring switches. Um, but spring switches would be wonderful for main lines. Like, they would just be awesome. Um... But I do think it doesn't do the uh, solve all kind of issue. Wow, they definitely did spread those apart, didn't they? Yep. Water tower is right in the middle of the platform. Nice. They allow automatic traffic control and double track main lanes without having to stop. Yep. Those but wooden I, bridge ports under those switches looks like it's just held up by twigs. Yeah, they're pretty thin. The, a kick switch is like a spring switch, but it doesn't reset. So when you go through, it stays as the setting that it just got switched over to. If I found a mic, would I be able to join voice chat? Sure. What a stark difference Devil's Corner used to be. Eh? How tight that was. <laughs> well, Devil's... Yeah, that thing was uh, definitely a little crazy. Basically, they're pointless in the sense that the map isn't really large enough to justify a really long trades or major line runs to justify them. Plus, we'd have to be right good. Yes. All right, D, you have a good one. Honestly, we're with balloon loops, kick switches are more than enough. You enter yep. one in, exit out the other, and then on your return, you just enter through your exit route. Yep. I mean, yeah, spring switches would be nice on the main line, but... Yeah, I can, I can really only think of their main purpose on the main line myself. Um, because even even if it does... Re it's, it's only good for exits. Like, like, you know, or mergers onto a single thing. It's not good for traffic coming in. Because then you'd have to switch the, the thing anyways to get in, into them. So, they're really good for exits. It's kind of a hairpin. All right, Tan, you have a good one. Thanks for swinging by. I appreciate it. Bit of a hairpin wobbly turn. I mean, I feel like a lot of the, everyone's complaints about switches might get kind of fixed when they do... Um, you know, if, if switch towers and, uh, or signal boxes are going to be a thing or sig signal towers, right? Where a player can come in and kind of almost, uh, almost like it's an AOE effect, right? You have a signal tower near like a, a depot. You, you're free to switch all switches from there. 
um, in a certain radius around the tower. That would be nice, especially for large yards. Yeah. Like if you know you're going to be taking I mean, a long you, train you, just, you just go to the one building, you switch everything, get it configured, and then you walk over and maybe maybe make a steam powered. I don't know. It, it wouldn't make sense for it to be steam powered. It's usually it's pretty analog, those type of things. Now, I think he's going to get to it uh, tomorrow while he's off work, Brendan. Actually, thinking about that, aren't they about to head up to the iron mine with a bunch of beams and planks? Well, if they are, they could just come up the other side. The side that we're on right now. Having a map that shows players and tracks would be nice. We're still at the sawmill. Okay. When you guys load that up, um, go, go ahead and just parker there, because I might be uh, wrapping it up here in a second. I don't want you guys to like, you know, get like halfway up and have to stop. In game chat, in game voice chat, agree. There's a lot of things. Okay. Um, yeah. Th thanks. Um, our problem there is working out how the code to pulley the cable system and the switch activation. How to code the pulley and cable system for the switch activation? You wouldn't have to. It's just inferred that it's working. Unless they actually want to model in the physical pulleys to, to kind of give the impression of that limitation of distance. I would say no. I, I'd say it's just not worth it for gameplay reasons. Um, you could maybe warrant having like a an art kind of detail piece that someone can plop down to make it look like they're connected. But like from a coding perspective, it's just a parent-child relationship that you can establish. And it would be nice and to if you, like. Okay, here. This this is this is. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and solve your problem. Uh, maybe, probably not. It's probably a dumb idea. But this is what I would do if you really want to visualize the pulleys. Um, I doubt you actually want to visualize the pulleys actually spinning, right? You just want to visualize I'd that they're connected up. How does that even look like, though? But think about it if you have one player who's in the find, tower find me a like, picture of what that looks like actually like um um train the switch pulley let me see here want to take this to the smelter or take it a little bit of the mill should go to the smelter for rails This is so much nicer being a 2% grade. Don't you agree? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I would have to see a picture of how the pulleys operate, but, um, again, it, that's a visual thing. The coding can be the same, but when you connect it up, what you could do is maybe, um, just have it connect along the nearest rails over to it by following the spline, but I don't know. I would have to know more probably before I could think about it. Also work great with the economy to telegraph how much stock is needed in capacity of various industries, passenger systems, a telegraph system. Yeah, I know they wanted to add a telegraph system. Yeah, yeah, it's still on on-event play animations versus actual physics of it. I think the switch is configured for the other route, by the way, up here. It is. Holy. I don't know, trees are blocking visuals. It's on fully configured. I got it. Played for VR for hours, your feet hurt. Well, that means you were doing it right. I'm proud. One thing I like about this return rate like this is you don't need to use any power. Yep. 
I use six percent of my boiler pressure for this entire route down. This is super upper part of the fridge frame with two or three levers to control one switch, depending. Okay, so so this when I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so. <laughs> gonna pull this in for a rail pickup. So you're worried if I can go to display capture. You're you're okay. I think I understand your concern now. This is a switch and how they all look, right? And you're like, how do I, for example, associate this switch to somewhere in the yard, right? And then also, how many levers should I have in the tower to be able to pull before someone else has to just simply make another tower? So to me, it sounds like, uh, how many, how many we got here? We got one, two. We'll just say 30, 30 switches in this one little spot. Um, so you know how real rewell works, right? You would be able to like click, let's say you would, you would uh, look at uh, one of the switches and then press a button. And it's like, I'm assigning this switch. And then you leave the tower and you walk over to the switch that you want that lever to be assigned to and you click on it and then it's linked. And now whenever you pull the lever at the thing, the, the switch moves back and forth depending. And then you go up, look at lever two, look at it, press the button to assign and you walk out there to the switch and you assign it. Um, I think that would be the best way. And if you run out of levers, you just build another tower. So you can have like an east or like a north north tower to control the northern switches and a southern tower to control the southern ones. Something like that. I think would work okay. The usual system of throw switches. One, pull lever to unlock the switch. Two, pull lever to change track. Three, to pull lever to lock in place. Four, to pull lever to charge change signal right but that whole segment there right it's all for one single turnout right and so you can have all those commands coal mine. Hmm? rails are raw iron for coal mine it's all rails so, so basically the, the levers are almost packages, like this package of levers does all these things. It's all gone wrong. Nice. Love it. Um, so if there's four levers in a package, when you point the package to the lever or the, 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 the turn off or whatever, um, all four of those levers would just control exactly what you described for that singular switch. And then you go to the next set of four and you do the same thing. Um, yes, if you really want to get that granular with the little switch controls. It could be, oh, a mile away and still work after that. It gets weird. But yeah, I think, you know, I think starting with good rail yard towers would be ideal. Why are you bringing raw iron? Because there's only so many rails we can pick up. And then the rest of it can... I mean, if you're going to stop off, you may as well grab as much as you can, right? True. But yeah, I would say because the tower has limited levers that's more limiting than the distance so you're going to need more towers based on how many switches you have and you're going to need more towers based on the distance of the switches um that's just how it's gonna go i would think 
Here's a video of the cables. Should you put it in Discord? I'm going to arrange some simply practical sense since a central tower would imply a massive web of buried cables, which is not really period plausible. Whether you would do, just do overhead cables or something like that. Um, or send a signal we to have another phantom tower links, guy. Uh, on the car stand. Might have to go over to the, the lumber mill to help um, phantom links. Okay. Hey, it's fine. I'm actually about to end the stream, so uh, it can uh, it can wait. It's fine. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. So th thanks everyone for coming out and playing. Sorry that uh, we got phantom links and stuff going on. That's something that I think you know. Now that we can rerail, I think phantom links is something that you have to be almost number one on the fixed list from a multiplayer perspective um, so that people can operate a little bit more independently. Um, from there, also Kabuki, any, anything I say like with game suggestions and stuff, take it with a grain of salt. I'm just a dumb YouTuber guy. Um, thanks, Paul, uh, Wolf, uh, Silent, Colt, and uh, I think Thorn for a little bit. Um, for coming out and playing with us. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, I'm super tired. So if you guys enjoy the stuff, feel free to subscribe. Hit that like button. Um, become a member today. Unlock some emotes. Forn. Yeah, Forn. Um, until then, we'll see you guys in the next stream. You all have a good weekend if I don't see you. Good night, guys.